way to National Park Azul Mayembar, which is almost three hours north of Tegucigalpa, where we spent the last couple of days. We're hoping to get on some hikes and see some Andorran nature. After traveling in El Salvador for three weeks, I just had the best papusa I've ever had in Honduras. It was so crunchy and less greasy, it was so good. Frijol and it had maiz masa. So the last three gas stations haven't had regular, they've only had super. And here they sell it by the liter. Uh, around the big city it was 23 lempira a liter, 25 is a dollar. So probably works out to be about 350. But we haven't been able to find regular, so we're gonna keep looking. Hopefully save a little money. So a typical trip on the Pan American Highway has a country most skip, it's Honduras. Traveler after traveler have told each other this is a very dangerous place and it's best to just drive through. With this knowledge, we decided to stay as long as our COVID tests would allow, less than three days. We could go to the skate park and then basically back to the border. But once we had this amazing day at the skate park and we were able to talk to locals at the hostel, we decided this country could not be skipped. The COVID tests are expensive, but we can afford it. And how many more times are we going to be driving through Honduras in our lives? So instead of heading to the border today, we are going to a national park suggested by the owner of the hostel to do some hikes with our travel pets. You pretend I'm back home driving in the snow. <laughs> Stay in the tracks. We paid 360 lempira to camp at Azume Embar, and we did have to bargain for that price. trail. Start here. Good view. Back down to the van. Banacam stands for Parque Nacional Asomiembar. Well, we just started. Let's look out there. up here. We even felt safe enough to take Graham on this long hike. He is good on hikes, it just takes a little longer to complete them when he comes along. He walks a little bit slower than our long legs. When we spoke with the owner of the hostel in Tegucigalpa, we were excited with how many places he suggested we visit. He camps with his pup in a land cruiser all around Central America, so he had to low down on some natural areas. dog was trying to go straight up the hill. Graham's better at finding trails than she is. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, sometimes Graham will find us a trail I didn't even know existed. Thanks, buddy. We'll just go for a walk. You were getting a little heavy. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag now. We never taught Graham how to follow us. One snowy trailhead in Colorado, we let him out of the van and just followed him wherever he went. He walked for a while until a little stream. He doesn't really like water. We didn't bring his backpack, but he did well walking back with us. The snow made it hard for him to leave the trail. Before that, at perfect campsites, we would just let him roam around. He would leave for a half hour, then return and hang out around the van. Usually he'd just find a patch of grass to munch on or something to stalk, always unsuccessfully. Lately, he's just gone on hikes with us because these campgrounds are a little bit more crowded than the BLM or Forest Service land in the beginning of our van life. We were so spoiled in the U.S. It's little shortcuts. Why not, Chica? Come on, boys. Buddy, if you're gonna lie down, we'll give you a nice little spot to, to sit in here, okay? 
In the backpack you go, buddy. There you go, my cutie. Okay. Okay, vamos. <laughs> Having the DC fridge is super nice. You can make cold water, our favorite fancy drink. Get that sombrita. Hey. Corre! The chill spot. <laughs> you don't want out. You're just gonna sit there. Some of the great things about Honduras are it's very pet friendly. In El Salvador, they wouldn't let you take a pet in any of these national parks. You also were required to take a guide sometimes. And here, there you don't have to. We were able to do this hike on our own. Yeah, almost every hike in El Salvador, you're required to take a guide. So we're loving this, especially being oh. able to bring the animals. Is that a quetzal? I don't think it's a quetzal, but it's Whoa. really, really pretty. Hard to get in the video. You came out, buddy? Anywhere's Grammy's home, huh, buddy? the highest point. Honduras. Honduras. It's been a long way down, but we're starting to hear this waterfall. Let's go check it out. The ranger told us people downstream use this water, so it's not for swimming. Samprita loves jumping around in streams, but not this time. We couldn't have her contaminate their water, so we leashed her up and kept her on trail. Mostly there. El sol.
way up there. Well, we made it back to the van. The mega hike. It was a good day in Honduras. Van chef on duty. <laughs> what do you call this creation? Uh, zucchini curry, coconut milk, pepper, tomato, and uh, tofu. You know, I gotta say that shower was very cold and I really appreciate my wife who <laughs> can deal with a cold shower like that. <laughs> It was, a, it was a four out of 10. Hmm, you're the best. Of course, we could probably pay a little more, you know, probably a lot more and have a hot shower in our own cabin, but it's just nice knowing we could live this life for a long time. We got money coming in and we like to live on the cheap. And to do my part, I'm gonna clean these vents. Get put to dirty. So we just saw how pineapples are made. They are so cute on these kind of aloe agave looking plants. They're just growing out of the center. I never expected it. This whole area is just four pineapples. Look at that. Pineapples, baby pineapples everywhere. We're here at Dee Dee's Brewery, enjoying a little micro brew around the lake. Have a little snack. Now you can sleep here. <laughs>